Welcome amazing viewers. Today, we are diving into an incredible breakthrough that's shaking up the world of mental health treatment. Cobenfi, the first new class of medication for schizophrenia in over three decades, has just received FDA approval and it's a game changer. Imagine a treatment that not only tackles the challenging symptoms of schizophrenia but does so in a completely new way. That's exactly what Cobenfi brings to the table. By targeting cholinergic receptors instead of the usual dopamine pathway, this innovative drug offers hope for improved efficacy and potentially fewer side effects. This is more than just a new pill, it's a beacon of hope for millions of adults living with schizophrenia and their loved ones. It represents years of dedicated research, countless hours in the lab, and the unwavering commitment of scientists and healthcare professionals to push the boundaries of what's possible in mental health treatment. So, whether you are someone living with schizophrenia, a caregiver, a healthcare professional, or just someone interested in the latest medical breakthroughs, stick around. We are about to explore how Cobenfi works, its potential benefits, and what this means for the future of schizophrenia treatment. Get ready to be inspired by the power of scientific innovation and the promise of a brighter future for mental health care. Let's dive in. A unique mechanism of action. Building on the promising breakthroughs we discussed in the previous slide, Cobenfi represents a novel approach to treating the complex symptoms of schizophrenia. Unlike traditional antipsychotics that target dopamine receptors, Cobenfi is the first medication approved by the FDA in over 30 years that specifically targets cholinergic receptors in the brain. This unique mechanism of action aims to provide improved efficacy in managing the challenging positive, negative, and cognitive symptoms associated with schizophrenia. By selectively modulating cholinergic neurotransmission, Cobenfi offers the potential to address the disease in a way that traditional therapies have not been able to. The approval of Cobenfi has the potential to significantly impact the treatment landscape for the millions of adults living with this debilitating mental disorder. As we'll explore in the next slide, the clinical data supporting Cobenfi's efficacy and safety profile is quite compelling. Efficacy and safety of Cobenfi in pivotal trials. Building on the previous discussion of Cobenfi's innovative approach, this slide delves into the clinical trial data that supported the FDA approval of this novel antipsychotic medication. The Emergent 2 and Emergent 3 studies were five-week, randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trials that evaluated Cobenfi in adults with schizophrenia. The primary efficacy measure was the change in positive and negative syndrome scale, PANS, total score from baseline to week 5. The results were highly compelling, with Cobenfi demonstrating a 9.6 point greater reduction in PANS compared to placebo in Emergent 2 and an 8.4 point greater reduction in Emergent 3. This significant symptom reduction underscores the potential of Cobenfi to make a meaningful impact in the lives of individuals living with the challenges of schizophrenia. While any new medication must be carefully evaluated for its safety profile, the data showed that the most common side effects of Cobenfi were gastrointestinal issues, hypertension, increased heart rate, and dizziness. Importantly, only 6% of patients discontinued Cobenfi due to side effects, indicating a generally tolerable side effect profile. Moving forward, the next slide will explore the market availability and pricing considerations for Cobenfi, as healthcare providers and patients eagerly anticipate this innovative treatment option for schizophrenia. Market availability, pricing, and affordability. Building on the positive clinical results we just discussed, the next step is ensuring Cobenfi is available and accessible to patients who need it. Cobenfi is expected to be available in the United States by late October 2024. The price has been set at $1,850 for a monthly supply, or approximately $22,500 annually before insurance coverage and other discounts. Fortunately, 
around 80% of individuals diagnosed with schizophrenia are covered by government health insurance, so most patients will face minimal out-of-pocket expenses. Additionally, Bristol Myers Squibb plans to implement an affordability program to make Cobenfi more accessible for uninsured patients, though the details are still to be announced. While the initial price may limit usage to patients who have tried other therapies without success, experts believe Cobenfi could become the standard treatment as healthcare providers become more familiar with its benefits. This sets the stage for the next phase of innovation exploring Coburn Fi's potential in other neuropsychiatric disorders like Alzheimer's psychosis. Expanding Applications of Muscarinic Receptor Modulators Building on the approval of Coburn Fi for the treatment of schizophrenia, the pharmaceutical industry is exploring the potential of muscarinic receptor modulators in other neuropsychiatric disorders. In 2026, Bristol Myers Squibb is expected to begin clinical trials for Coburn Fi in the treatment of Alzheimer's psychosis. This marks an exciting expansion of the drug's application, as researchers seek to leverage its unique mechanism of action to address the complex neuropsychiatric symptoms associated with Alzheimer's disease. Concurrently, Researchers at Vanderbilt University are developing highly selective muscarinic receptor modulators with the goal of further refining and optimizing the therapeutic potential of this approach. By targeting specific muscarinic receptor subtypes, these novel compounds may unlock even more precise and tailored treatments for a range of neuropsychiatric conditions. As the scientific community continues to delve deeper into the role of muscarinic receptors in the brain, we can expect to see continued innovation and expansion in this promising area of research. The potential to address unmet needs in neuropsychiatric disorders, such as schizophrenia and Alzheimer's disease, makes this a particularly exciting frontier in pharmaceutical development. Transitioning to the next slide, we will explore the novel receptor targets and dual component system that underpin the revolutionary approach of Coburn Fi in the treatment of schizophrenia. Novel receptor targets. Building upon the promising developments in muscarinic receptor research highlighted in the previous slides, Coburn Fi represents a groundbreaking approach to schizophrenia treatment. Unlike traditional antipsychotics that target dopamine receptors, Coburn Fi specifically focuses on activating the M1 and M4 muscarinic receptors. This novel mechanism of action allows Coburn Fi to indirectly modulate dopamine activity, rather than directly blocking it. By targeting these unique receptor systems, Coburn Fi offers a new therapeutic pathway that has the potential to address both the positive and negative symptoms of schizophrenia. Importantly, by avoiding the direct dopamine blockade of traditional antipsychotics, Coburn Fi may present a different and potentially more favorable side effect profile. This could lead to improved tolerability and quality of life for patients undergoing schizophrenia treatment. As we explore the potential side effects associated with Coburn Fi in the upcoming slide, it's clear that this innovative approach to schizophrenia management holds significant promise for the future of neuropsychiatric care. In the previous slide, we explored the novel mechanisms of action and potential benefits of Coburn Fi, a revolutionary approach to treating schizophrenia. Now, let's take a closer look at the potential side effects associated with this new medication. While Coburn Fi's unique receptor targeting aims to offer an alternative to traditional antipsychotics, it is important to understand the possible side effects patients may experience. The most common side effect reported was nausea, occurring in 19% of patients twice the rate seen with placebo. Another common gastrointestinal side effect was dyspepsia or indigestion, experienced by 18% of patients taking Coburn Fi. Constipation was also reported in 17% of patients and vomiting was seen in 15% of the treatment group. In addition to gastrointestinal issues, Coburn Fi was associated with an increased risk of hypertension with 11% of patients experiencing elevated blood pressure. 
Abdominal pain was reported by 8% of patients and 6% experienced diarrhea. Some cardiovascular and neurological side effects were also observed, including tachycardia in 5% of patients and dizziness, also reported by 5% of the study population. Finally, 5% of patients developed gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD, while taking Cobenfi. Overall, it is important for healthcare providers and patients to be aware of these potential side effects when considering Cobenfi as a treatment option for schizophrenia. Careful monitoring and management of these side effects will be crucial for ensuring the optimal use of this novel medication.